we're seeing a lot of Western comic book creators get a little bit upset over April 2021's top 20 graphic novels. Because, as you can see, make mine manga, well, every single top-selling adult graphic novel for April was from Japan. Not one of them come from come from America. Now, if you switch it to just superheroes, uh, it's quickly dominated by Batman. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> like, Batman's the only thing that sells anymore. And... It's kind of it's kind of sad. It is sad to see Western comics fall so low. But you know, they did it to themselves constantly. What do we hear? If you don't like my politics, don't buy my books. Well, a lot of people took them up on that offer, didn't they? And they switched over to a new medium. And I always like to point this out. The fact that My Hero Academia is so popular here in the West. You know, that should really be an eye-opener to a lot of these companies. But it's not. They don't care. They double down on on their weirdness. And I've went over this before. So we're going to go back to Jerry Conway again. A little bit of a brush up if you don't know who he is. Uh, he created this. Well, he co-created this character right here, Power Girl. And a couple of other characters, notably The Punisher. Yeah, The Punisher. Uh, he used to be a man of of great talent, and now he's just fallen down into the the cult of wokeism, and it's it's really sad to see. Like I said in the last video, the guy made one of the best Spider-Man runs of all time, which is of course the death of Gwen Stacy and Norman Osborn, and now you know here we are. Now he's complaining about rampant sexism and misogyny in manga. Here's his original tweet. American comic book artists are taken deservedly to task regularly for outrageously sexist treatment of women. But rarely do I see any commentary on the rampant sexism and misogyny in manga. And manga is incredibly popular with younger readers. He, of course, doubled down and asked, you know, are, are we supposed to ignore this because we're not because we're not you know from Japan? Can we not do this because it's non-Western cultural tropes? So this has kind of sparked a thing. Comic book creators are now like talking about manga, which is funny because they're always so quick to talk about how comic book sales have never been higher. They're so sky high right now, and it's. It's always funny because if you have a brain and you go look and you see like the reason that comic book sales are sky high is because of manga. <laughs> They're published over here under Viz Media and whoever else. And because of that, they get lumped in with comic book sales. And it's like, nah, yeah, okay, well, let's take the manga out and we'll see how great those sales really are. Uh, the reason that they're sky high and the highest in years is because of stuff from Japan. That does not save your industry. Okay, they've already got workers creating stuff. They're not going to come and grab people from a failed industry. Because over there, uh, you don't fail upwards. Uh, if you fail, you go down the ladder. But over here in America, uh, in the comic book industry, and hell, even in entertainment... Uh, if you fail, you fail upwards. Well, we liked your agenda in that book. Let's go ahead and give you a top studio job. Doesn't work like that in Japan. Doesn't work like that in Japan. And I also saw somebody talking about the fact that uh, over over here, they only bring the creme de la creme manga and anime, the best of the best. And that's what gets translated. And it's like, well... Not necessarily fan subs bring a lot of stuff that hasn't been brought over here. And does it matter if it's the creme de la creme? Like, uh, the creme de la creme here still doesn't sell shit. But you bring something really good over from Japan and it skyrockets to the, to the moon. Uh, but the best-selling comics here barely sell anything. 30,000 compared to, compared to millions is uh is a laughing stock. I mean that's a joke. 
So that's a stupid argument, in my opinion. Uh, the the best of the best brought over here from Japan uh, still takes a gigantic dump over the best of the best when it comes to Western comics here. And uh, there's just no other way around that. But anyway, Jerry Conway. Jerry Conway. Doubling back down. Uh, he got roasted, by the way, and he's already starting to get ratioed again for uh, saying this. Uh, but last time, his tweet went viral. Went viral. People from Japan were roasting him, which was hilarious. He doubles down. He says, given the number of angry replies from manga fans to my post suggesting some manga art is pederastic and misogynistic, I can only assume there are a lot of incels who beat off to drawings of oversexed pitching girls. I'm really tired of this. Anything that I don't like is incels. Because it's not. Number two, um, that's like a certain uh, genre that's not the same thing as anime. And plus, it's still funny. He never acknowledges ever that he made this character. Now, the funny thing about Power Girl is that they used to have a running gag to see how big they can make her bust for every issue to see how much they could get away from, get away with from editorial. So they would just keep increasing it as a joke. So in some issues, like her bust was, was incredibly huge. Like he, I, I would have to show you pictures, but it was inconsistent to say the le to say the least uh, throughout like a lot of the nineties and so on. And Jerry, Jerry's all part of that, you know, doesn't acknowledge that. Like he knows, he knows what he's doing. He's just mad. And now he's doubling down because he's not used to this. Cause you have to remember in the comic book industry, this stuff is usually praised. Now, if, he, if this was a rearranged comment and he was calling out, you know, maybe his own work in the past, uh, he would be getting praised right now, but he's got to double down and continue to go after manga fans he doesn't seem to understand like he used to get it but he doesn't get it now but of course now he's a fan you know i do read some manga myself just not the near hentai and actual hentai stuff i'm not dissing the art form hell i have the slipcase edition of akira in translation and i used to subscribe to shonen jump in the 1980s or the culture just calling out abuse uh this is bs okay this is BS. I don't know if I believe you, Jerry, because Shonen Jump, that's literally literally a, a brand that's meant to that's meant to be appealing to boys. So that most shonen girls, you know, are designed to be attractive. Kind of like how they used to be in comics. Uh, until recently where they're all like looking like little boys and stuff. But, you know, that's a, <laughs> that's a whole nother video. Jerry is a really good example, too, of what you get when you go to a comic book artist. When you go to a comic book artist's Twitter, I want to show you guys this. So let's say you just picked up a Jerry Conway comic book. Wow, this is amazing, maybe you think. And I want to go, I want to go see what Jerry's doing on social media. And you go to their, and you go to their feeds. And I want to show you this. Look at this. This is how you know. This is how you know something's kind of flipped with Jerry here. His entire feed is blasting the blasting Republicans and hailing Democrats. Every single tweet is about politics. The battle for fifteen minimum wage. Uh, retweeting people from politics and stuff like that. Is retweeting Dave David Rothschild, Stephen Denight, Chris Han. Here he is talking about a recent vote. Forget the fines, just eject them from the House floor. And of course, he's talking about GOP people here. Uh, Under Armour is the latest retailer to raise hourly wage to fifteen dollars an hour. Right, like he's everything he tweets. Do you notice one thing here? What's the missing thing here? He's not talking about comics. He's not talking about Hollywood or entertainment or what he's doing. Oh, finally. 
Look how far I had to scroll down to find one tweet about comics. Oh, we're right back to something about McConnell. Like everything he talks about is about the orange. He's still talking about orange man bad. Dudes, there hasn't been an office for months. This is everything wrong with the comic book industry right here. This is why American comics suck. Because they're all just so radically obsessed. Oh, okay. I guess I did miss one. Here's one. He retweeted somebody talking about Legends of the Dark Knight. But you go to these comic book creators. It, it, you go to these comic book creators' social media. It's all politics. Barely any comics. It's all that's on their mind. That's it. It's all they think about is politics. And it's really just destroyed the industry because they're, it's on their minds so much they inject it into their books constantly. And it's really just brought, it's, it's brought the medium down so much. But this is what you see. And I challenge you, unless you're blocked, and you're probably blocked like crazy. You know, go pick up, go pick up a, a comic if you have any. And if you've never gone to their social media, look up, like pick somebody right and go look at their comics it's got to be somebody like from the big two look go go look up their social media and check it out don't interact with them just go look at their stuff and i guarantee you it's going to be the same as jerry's it's going to be full of left leaning politics and trashing the orange man probably still look right here in the corner is a picture of him and then you know uh, knowing why comics are in such a, a terrible place right now, it should really make a little bit more sense to you if you if you didn't know this. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.